Hello and what is up my friends, it's Thunderbob here and tonight we are checking out another new game. This is Deluvian Ultra from the developer Crest Helm Studios. This is available on Steam for $9.99. It came out back in September 28th, just a couple of weeks ago, two weeks ago or so. And I'm checking this out tonight for the first time. It has positive reviews on Steam, but not a lot of them. But I was really intrigued by the trailer I saw and I thought I would spotlight this tonight. Um, I've covered a lot of these old school retro shooters lately, and that's kind of what this is, looking at the trailer and the description. Uh, this genre, like the boomer shooter genre, I feel like has had a big resurgence lately, and there's been a lot of really good ones. This one looks interesting. Uh, it says here it has a retro aesthetic and fast-paced strategic combat, and the game is set in its own expansive, fictive universe rather than gritty or dark. It's colorful and fantastical, and that's really what kind of drew me to this, is it's got some really crazy, like, aesthetic, like, bright, vibrant look to it, and, like, some really beautiful animation, which a lot of these, these retro shooters, they don't have the most fluid animation, and some of it was just like, wow, this is this looks really cool for somebody that is kind of in that old school style to be doing more with like the animation and the color and the lighting and everything so we're gonna jump in it looks like ultra wide is supported that's my favorite way to play i'm playing at 30 for 40 by 1440 i get everything maxed out here i'm hoping it runs just fine i'm running on a 3080 10700k uh, so pretty beefy machine let's see easy normal and hard we'll go with normal and um, this is not early access, though I do notice it says specifically chapter one. So I'm wondering if this is maybe like just uh, a portion of the game. Like obviously chapter one implies there will be a chapter two. But uh, yeah, we'll start at normal as that's kind of what it defaulted to here. Okay, there's a ship, and there's a funky looking alien ship. Are those the aliens, or are those the, like, more humanoid looking vessel? I have no idea what's happening right now, but I'm, I'm digging it. Looks like the thing from Final Fantasy VII. Press middle mouse button to bring up weapon select wheel. Prince awakens. Servants attend me. Your prince has awakened. No banners, no fanfare, no banquet, and no throngs of courtiers. Okay, this is not my Sacristo. Why have you brought me to this damp tunnel? Sarcophagus. I have a castle for Mars' sake, and where are all the Squires and servants. Danger, fear, hurt. You were wounded, those scars. You have seen battle. You must have fled here, which means my Sir Krista was not safe for my revival. Fire, hurt, machine. Invaders, but we got away clean. We passed beyond Neptune before we went to sleep. No one followed us. Hurt, pain. Rest, friend. You have made me proud. Heal and be safe. I will go and see what hole you have spirit us off to. Like, you see what I mean from the trailer? Like, it's, it's not like that grim, dark, like, you can't see anything. It's like bright and vibrant and colorful. I really liked, like, the, the trailer immediately was like, oh, this is pretty cool. Is different. I need to find a sword. I got a memory stone. Restores armor. I 
So that's healing me and filling my armor back up, it looks like. Double jumps. I love double jumps. Okay, so that's what the memory stones are like, what are giving me the text. How do I... The like animations when he picks up the weapons and stuff was pretty cool. I saw somewhere they were like filling weapons. Press F with any. Says so that like a quick attack? Is that what that said? Uh, I saw like a, a weapon where they were like feeding it like ammo in a really cool way. While in the air, press left shift to prevent dash. Combine double jump and dash to converge. Okay. Okay, so you got... You can jump, dash, jump again. Press left mouse button to use the blood sword. It does lethal damage and hold to do a heavy attack. Okay. Will those explode? I feel like I might need to uh, adjust the field of view. Like it defaulted to 90, but it feels a little too close. What are these machines? So, so that beginning video, it seems like your ship was the weird monstrous looking. Takes a lot of hits to kill those guys. A temple? Ancient stone. The shrine is older than anything within my princedom, older than anything else aboard this ship. This edifice must have been hidden inside the bedrock of Mars hundreds of years before the box cracked the planet. I never even knew it was there underneath the sands. When tomb ship formed the shell, it must have scooped up the shrine by mistake, along with the other debris. So many Luvians vaporized in the barma, and we saved this forgotten shrine without knowing. Maybe it holds a way out. I have no idea what's going on right now. It's very weird, though. <laughs> That grenade just like bounced off the guy. That was uh, that was not not useful. And that in that scenario. These purple things, do they I think they hurt me. Okay, so you can hold the middle mouse button, elite pistol, blood sword. The little, the little purple orb things, um, kind of annoying, because they're like small enough that I kind of just want to ignore them. Are those permanent things or just temporary things I'm getting? Like, I feel like those just, like, look like sprites of a kind of bubble or something. Like, I... I think those should look different, to be honest. When in the air, press control to form a smash attack. And 
that smash attack will kill everything on screen. Oh, that was cool. Except now I I used the thing so I didn't kill everything. It reminds me a little bit of Hexen in that Hexen and Heretic were like Doom style FPSs, but they had a, I feel like a heavier focus on like magic and like melee type weapons. And this, well, this is still like sci fi, it's kind of like leaning into kind of a fantasy aesthetic almost. Like it feels like the cover of like a heavy metal vinyl. Or maybe even um, heavy metal magazine, like some of those like fantasy, like really over the top Mobius. Or some of those those artists kind of might be that. I guess some of those early issues actually. I, I collected like the first year. I think I just did a circle. I did. Where does that want me to go? I jumped up there, and I went around, and then I jumped down. Did I miss something over here? Ah, there's a door. Opens elsewhere. How did I lose my gun? That looks like a gun there, doesn't it? But it won't let me pick it up. That's weird. Do you... Does your gun, like, go away? Oh, I probably have to ring this bell. This place is old, Max. Magnificent. Truly magnificent. Okay, so I look at it and I press F. Alright, well here's a, a level selection, and at least we can see kind of how big it is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 levels. I, I think that that starting area wasn't one of those 10. That smell. Did you wait for me, Ice Crystal? I like that his name is Attila, like Attila the Hun. Too quiet. Why aren't the squires seen? I'll probably be ending this soon. I just wanted to kind of show off the first. I don't know. 20 or 30 minutes here. I'm, I'm intrigued by it. It's pretty. I didn't really like the aesthetic of it. The squires, their nests. What kind of barbarians would do this? They are all dead, my servants, my friends. No. Show yourself. I will grind your bones on the flagstones of my castle and drink your brains from your skulls. That's pretty dark. I'm, like, the way I look, I'm assuming I'm a bad dude, but I don't have enough context to really quite understand the story at this stage. Like, you're some kind of king who had squires and stuff, but you also look like a literal, like, doom demon guy. Which is weird, but cool. Kind of the idea that you you could be the bad guy playing against, like, the more normal people is kind of cool. Squire, you survived. I'm sorry, little one. I will put two more in the nest and kill you. You are young, but I need your help. Fight by my side, and when the time comes for you to brood and create a nest of your own, my blood will feed you. And when your instincts call you away from my hand, I will let you go. Practice me, I'm your knight. You are my squire. I think I will call you Bella. 
before perhaps more squares manage to escape. We'll need to find them if you hope to rebuild their nests. Call out for them, I'll ensure they answer your song. I'll do the rest. Okay. I still don't know why I lost the first gun, but like look at that. Like for an old school, like retro shooter. That's pretty cool. Fire's lethal projectiles. It kind of reminds me of that gun from Halo. The uh, Needler, I think it was. I'm not a big Halo guy, but... <laughs> the reload for this gun is literally you just pet it. How awesome is that? I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Oh, over here. I think opens elsewhere, so I get to hit two of those red things, I think. Opens elsewhere. I don't see anything to activate. Yeah, yeah, I got that. What do you want me to do? Oh. I got one of them. That is not very obvious at all. Should be another one, I think. Or did that open the other door? No. It's still, like, showing... Not sure if I'm bugged, but it's still um, may it look like I need to shoot that thing, even though it's obviously been shot at it. I do get a comment. Soundtrack is, uh, yeah, I'm kind of. It fits the aesthetic. Oh, it's right there. I don't know why those those did not stand out at all. Yeah, so it's overheating. So I literally gotta pet my my gun. All right, pet, pet my gun again. Okay. Did that. I do feel like the level design and like what it wants me to do is not terribly clear. Autonomous machines. Too crude and designed for the Vox to be responsible. A single one of their war machines could overpower an entire company of knights. In comparison, these are toys. Yeah. Someone sent them here. Yep. Someone killed my kin while I slept. First I would clear out these mechanical abominations. Then I will find the toy maker. I still don't know quite what it wants me to do. Okay, there's like waves of energy emanating from somewhere. Oh! Okay, so. But just because you tell me that I can do that doesn't mean I know that I should do it right there, does it? Am I dumb? The heart is intact, I can feel it beating. 
It definitely has like an old school vibe, not just to look, but like to the mechanics and the, the structure of the game. Need to concentrate the should I fail in battle? I'll be reincarnated here. It cost me to focus. We'll get the waste zone and press that. Like, it reminds me of an old school like PC game that like you need the manual to kind of understand everything and it's not all explained in the game and it's trial and error and and um those kind of games largely i feel like people uh they don't like that anymore okay so i can upgrade blood sword squire gun iron impaler chain gun shotgun Damage, fire rate, critical. Can I... Do I have to take them in order? How do I... Scroll to the select square gun and buy the... This... The guide is secondary upgrade. Okay, I guess I do. Or do I have another point though? Oh, but it costs four. I've only got. I got zero now. Okay. It's kind of cool that there is uh, an upgrade mechanic though. And it seems like it was more than just damage, there were like mechanical kind of changes. Ah, there's so many guys. Do I have I don't have any grenades, I don't think. Oh I do. I'm about to die. I died. Well at least I can figure out what the death mechanic is. You dead. So it brought me back here and I lost some focus, whatever that does. I'm gonna try that one more time, but I'll probably be ending here momentarily. I'm getting kind of tired. Those little orb things, I feel like they would be less of a nuisance if when they did get to you, if they just exploded, did some damage, and like were gone. But instead, you have to like hit all of them, and they're kind of smallish. And, but then those ones give you blood points, so that feels weird. Okay, so I got my focus back. Is that it? 25 blood equals one focus point. Okay. Opens elsewhere. So how do I open it? To use fork. Like a tuning fork. I feel lost, like where I'm supposed to be going. Uh, okay, so that just that's back where I was. I don't have any grenades left. Okay, buddy. I can't always tell what is shooting at me. Like, I feel like that thing could be shooting at me. I. I there's like so much happening, it's a little hard to get a read on exactly what's going on. But I think I'll end it here for now. I do also want to check this out in the Steam Deck, maybe do some Steam Deck uh, footage of it, if it runs well there. 
Uh, I'm definitely interested in playing more. It's got a very cool vibe to it. Like, you don't see this uh, style done too much. Like, it's retro style, but it also looks really clean and colorful and bright and vibrant. Cool animations, good music. Um, the gameplay does feel a little bit, you know, it, it is retro. It feels a little archaic at times where like, I'm not always sure where I'm supposed to be going next. That maybe is by design. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll check this out more. If I do play enough, I'll do another video, maybe a review or just uh, some gameplay from later in the game. But uh, if, you, if you like what you're seeing, please do like, subscribe, drop me a comment with your thoughts. I just uh, want to thank you again for watching, everyone. Have a great night. There's what we're shooting at.